Hello, it's Moon Camelk here, and today I have uh, a new sheep farm design that beats, um, well, I'm pretty sure it beats out all the different uh, wool farms that you've seen on YouTube or elsewhere. It combines the best of all the different farms. Uh, first of all, the redstone um, uh, components of the farm, uh, not including the, the storage, is uh, cheaper than the most common farm uh, wool farm designs you see if you search it up on YouTube, where they're quite similar, just one saves the server. It's cheaper than those, it is uh, uh, cheaper than Il Mango's version, and also it maximizes uh, grass growth that um, uh, for like this grass block here uh, that these farms don't have, causing them to be slower. So, um, it also fits in a small footprint of being um, five by six. Uh, mind you, it's a little tall, but that there, the reason why it's tall is just to maximize the gra uh, grass growth. And as you can see, uh, oh, mangoes version. Oh, and also one other thing is, um, you don't want to have multiple sheep in a cell because that causes a lot of lag. So I want to expand uh, upon this idea while avoiding this. So. Uh, this design here is actually a four cell design where uh, four sheep are powered by one dispenser because if you ever had to craft a stack of dispensers it's a real pain because they're not stackable at all and uh, whenever there's um, a uh, sheep grows his wool it automatically gets sheared goes up and into the hopper uh, it's a detection based if this uh, redstone here is too expensive for you you could just do an observer clock but uh, I recommend doing the detection base because if you build this in your base and you have it just on a clock, it is really uh, annoying hearing the clicking sound constantly. So anyways, uh, now for the build tutorial. So I'm just grab these blocks here, uh, torches, that, 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 uh, that, 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 um, oh, okay, well anyways. So uh, I'm starting from the base layer here. So there's two layers below it. Uh, but I'm going to start at what I have is the floor there. So you need a 5x5, five five, which is the hole. Fill the outer ring with the uh, grass blocks. And then fill the ring up. But make sure to leave the uh, center one empty. Um, and then you need a dispenser here. Oh, um, and also, depending on whatever side you want to be the front. Uh, lower the this grass block down one. You can always just fill it in with dirt and the grass will grow. So, uh, then after that, uh, actually, yeah, keep that there. Uh, you're going to have to put some dirt temporary blocks here. And then after this, you want to put a cross shape of any block that's not a full block. So it could be chest, honey blocks, uh, glass, fences, da da da. Literally any block that's not a uh, full block. And you just want to put that into a plus. And then now you're ready for your, your um, sheep. So, um, oh, one thing here, grab your leaves. Uh, you can put the essentially the plus shape again with leaves or glass. This just has to be a transparent block to uh, prevent uh, suffocation. Um, if, if you're dealing with uh, adult sheep, uh, you want to put in these blocks here already. If you if you have baby sheep, sheep as you're putting them in the farm, you can just place this block in once they're in place. I'll show you what to, I mean by that. So uh, essentially you have to bring your sheep over here, but since I'm creative, I can just do that. Get them into a minecart. And then if they're adult sheep here, you're just going to need a temporary trap door um, to essentially uh, place it down. And then what you want to do is nudge it into the uh, corner, like so. And if you did it right, uh, the sheep head block should be partly over the center one. And then once you do that, you just uh, repeat the same thing uh, over and over again. Da 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 da. Da, da, da. And then, uh, push them in the corner. Now, if you're on a multiplayer server, sometimes there's a, a especially one that has plugin. Sometimes it, um, uh, the minecart uh, hitbox, the server on the server side, it thinks is bigger, and it might uh, nudge the uh, 
uh, the sheath through the fence or whatever block you use in the middle, even though that the hitboxes aren't actually colliding. So once you have all your sheath in place, just double check that um, all of them are indeed partially over the center. If one happened to get nudged back out, make sure to nudge it back in. So then once you do that, you can remove all your temporary blocks here around. And then if you're really, uh, broke for resources, you could break the uh, the center items and collect them back. You just have to remember to try not to much nudge the minecarts. Okay, uh, so then these were temporary blocks as well. Uh, this guy here, leave it like that. Um, and then from here, get your torches. Place them there to encourage and speed up grass growth. After that, place another ring up above. There we go. And then as the item's going up, uh, you don't want them to fly out, so you're going to need additional leaves like this. Don't worry, you don't have to do the corners, of which you can place another layer of torches. And then on top of that, you want to place a uh, five by five of grass. Repeat the same layer uh, of leaves. So one like that. And then uh, what you want to do is on these other ones here, you want to do that, 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 and do this one. Um, now you can place in another uh, corner, torches in the corner again. Um, and then you want to place grass on those ones, a trap door here and here. Uh, so then just like that, fold them up, put in the wire. Um, make sure to click on the trap door, uh, trap door when holding shift, because if you try to leave, you just wire log the leaf, and then that's not what you want. So once you do that, you do that. And um, uh, one thing to keep in mind is I need the, uh, essentially the hopper now. That is above the grass, okay. So essentially what you want to do is you also want to have your chest here. Uh, and then place in your uh, hopper there. Uh, just want to see, okay, yeah, I use the leaves all the way around. So uh, then you want to just block off there so the wire start, stops flooding. And then on top of that, you just want to uh, uh, essentially cover the uh, water stream because sometimes uh, the wool comes shooting out and it comes shoots out the top and over the side so we just put a cover on that and then from here um, go down to the dispenser here uh, if you're broke on uh, iron for now you could just put it in manually but if you have uh, plenty you can do that and you put down your chest or barrel and as you see this here's your storage so you can expand it however you please uh, in this case here, I just did a uh, design like this to get three double stacks. So this here is pretty well all it is. And now just for the small amount of redstone, which you just want to go underneath. Uh, and then from here, you want to place um, observers underneath the four corners here, because that's where the sheep is above. And then you want to place a target block uh, where the dispenser is. And then... Um, Choose. Uh, let's see, let me see in here. Uh, let me go iron for a full block. Um, essentially, you want to go down, pick uh, any of, any of the corners that's not um, uh, towards the front here, and uh, essentially make a. Uh, oh, do that. Essentially, you want uh, want to uh, make a uh, almost like a T shape or a free like that, and do that. Uh, just temporary break this block place that there and then put that down and then uh, what you want to do is put a block there and there and connect those two up and then there you go as you can see you hear the click so your redstone's done if you want to turn the farm off you can just put a uh, lever anywhere on the circuit and the farm is off so then now all you need to do is put in the shears into the barrel now go into the dispenser and see here just click why did it do that that's the first time where uh did i miss something here okay i guess really rarely you can uh it can miss items but as you can see it can go up and then it flows into the chest there and that's uh, all it is for the design um 
I do have a more advanced design that would actually have eight sheep for one dispenser. However, uh, building it is really complex and it's a pain. <laughs> so if you want to keep the farm simple, uh, I recommend go with four. If you want a more efficient one, uh, you can wait uh, for that more complex video. And uh, I believe that is all. So, um, yeah, so have a good day.